Welcome. This module will provide a detailed overview of the Dashboards feature in Vocalect Voice Link 4.3. Hello there. I am Jane, and I am a Voice Link expert from Honeywell. Here we are at ABC Warehouse. This warehouse is Vocalect Voice enabled and uses Voice Link as the connector solution. I am here to introduce Voice Link 4.3's new features. Hey, there's Joe. He is the warehouse supervisor. Hi, Jane. Glad to see you here. Thanks for making time to talk with me today. Is anyone else joining us? Yes, my IT manager, Mark, will be here shortly. And look, here he is. Hey, guys. Hi, Mark. Glad you could make it. I have some exciting news. I can't wait to hear it. What is it, Jane? Have there been times when you wish you had psychic powers to control things before they get frantic in your warehouse routine? Are you going to be our fairy godmother? I am not promising that I'm going to make you guys psychic, but I can promise you that VoiceLink 4.3 is going to empower you to deal with these kinds of stressful situations before they happen. Wow, this does sound exciting. Please tell us more about how VoiceLink 4.3 can help us. Sure, that's why I'm here. Let's go into the training room and talk more about it. Okay, let's get started. This release of VoiceLink includes some exciting new features, such as dashboards, charts, and alerts. These features are designed to help warehouse supervisors manage business operations without leaving the warehouse floor. Supervisors can stay where the action is and where the operators are and still manage any exceptions that might crop up. Now, how do you think VoiceLink 4.3 helps a warehouse manager or a supervisor to stay mobile and manage the entire warehouse? That is almost correct. VoiceLink 4.3 does both. Okay, as I said, with VoiceLink 4.3, you can use dashboards, charts, and alerts to receive instant, condensed information about your workforce and warehouse operations. Most of this information is based on current VoiceLink data transactions. Also, by default, the charts use data only from the selection application. For example, if your warehouse has implemented VoiceLink with both integrated selection and loading, the route data will only represent selection activity. This chart information is sent right to your mobile devices with a browser. Additionally, you can also receive system health information. You can review all this detail and take necessary action without leaving the warehouse floor. All this is achieved with the help of a set of pre-built Vocalect data aggregators in VoiceLink 4.3. These data aggregators provide the data calculations, merging and filtering for the charts and alerts that are delivered with the product. That is, data aggregators are built to merge and calculate information from the VoiceLink database, such as operator information or route information, or from other data sources. Additionally, the System Performance Data Aggregator is built to help check system health at any given point of time. Can these data aggregators be customized, or can I create my own aggregator? Great question, Mark. The good news is that you can do both. Vocalect University has an online training that will guide you in creating and customizing data aggregators. Toward the end of our session, I will let you know how to access this training. That's great. Thanks, Jane. No problem. Let me first introduce you to the dashboard feature. A dashboard is a collection of charts that displays performance and trend information tailored to the user's needs. I will explain how to create these charts and add them to a dashboard a little later. A dashboard offers you a quick view of warehouse operations, workforce performance, and system health. By creating charts with useful, real-time information and projections, you can make informed and timely management decisions. When you get to the Dashboards and Alerts tab, you will first land on the My Dashboard page. The My Dashboard page displays the default dashboard set by the signed-in user for the selected site. The dashboard's drop-down list at the top right corner of the page lists all the current site's dashboards available in your VoiceLink system. 
Every dashboard you create will be added to this list. You can select any dashboard from this menu to view it. In addition to viewing the dashboards, you can customize the dashboard that displays on the My Dashboard page. VoiceLink lets you perform actions such as displaying drill down charts. Moving or resizing a chart. Breaking apart pie segments. Rotating a pie chart. Temporarily closing or removing a chart. And toggle fields in the multi-field column chart. Wow, this is cool. Thanks, Mark. You saw that when you clicked on the dashboard drop-down list, there were three items listed there. These are pre-built dashboards that Vocalect offers out of the box for VoiceLink. Now let's see how these pre-built dashboards help you with your real-life warehouse challenges. Joe, has there been a day when things got so hectic it caused a route to miss its departure time? I can think of quite a few occasions when that happened and it most likely becomes a chain reaction and causes delays in other route departures as well. How long did it take for you to fix these delays? A delayed route is a delayed route. I can't fix what is already delayed, but it did take a while to figure out why each route got delayed in the first place. A route could be delayed because operators were overloaded and could not deliver on time, or because the projected departure time of the route was underestimated, or the priority was changed on a route, and so on. What if I told you VoiceLink is going to empower you to handle such situations with no surprises, and perhaps help you prevent those delays from happening again? VoiceLink 4.3 comes with a set of pre-built dashboards, and one of them is the Delivery Management Dashboard. This dashboard enables you to ensure that routes complete in sequence and on time. Here you can analyze route progress and work rates and make informed decisions to prevent delays in delivery schedules. Then in VoiceLink, you can change assignment priorities by routes and reassign operators to different regions. Next, we will explore these charts and their drill-down charts. Using this dashboard, you can track route progress. The route progress chart shows the percentage of work complete by items for all routes that have departure dates within the next 24 hours. That is, if a route is going to miss the delivery date, it will not appear in this chart. You can drill down to operator actual rate information by clicking on one of the routes on this chart. For the purpose of this demonstration, please click the route to see the appropriate drill down chart. Click the first route column. The Operator Actual Rate chart shows the current work rates for all operators associated with the selected route. VoiceLink calculates rates based on the number of units processed per hour. The Delivery Management Dashboard contains a chart called Route Projected Departure Date. This chart shows the projected departure date and the delay in minutes for a route that is in progress and scheduled to leave in the next 24 hours. It is important for you to note that the negative values under the projected departure delay column indicates that the route will depart earlier than expected. For example, Route R005 is expected to leave 37 minutes sooner. Click the first route name to view the status of all the assignments on that route. The Assignment Status Composition chart allows you to view and analyze added detail on route progress. This chart breaks down the selected route's assignments into those that are available, in progress, shorted, suspended, passed, and completed. 
routes completed or not started is a good chart to use if you want to see the routes that are not in progress so you can account for them. Information about these routes is not included in the route progress or route projected departure date charts. Click the step list arrow to review the steps in this demo. Joe, you mentioned that sometimes your operators get overloaded with work. I am sure that also means you have been incurring overtime costs. How frequently does this happen? It's rare during regular business days, but during holidays, even if we hire seasonal workers, we almost always overload them and end up paying a huge overtime cost. I wish we knew how many operators to deploy without overloading or underutilizing them. Don't worry anymore, Joe. I think I have just the tool to help you with your problem. Another pre-built dashboard is the Workforce Planning Dashboard. This dashboard allows you to monitor worker performance at a glance. Here you can analyze region progress and projections for the resources you'll need in order to remain on schedule in all regions. Use this information to make decisions on operator assignments to avoid accruing excessive overtime costs. Next, we will look at the charts in this dashboard. The Operator Requirement Chart shows the number of operators required to work in a region in order to complete assignments that have route departures within a specific time interval. A positive value indicates that you need more workers for that region and a negative value indicates that there are too many operators working for that region. The projections in this chart help you to make informed decisions to ensure you get the right worker-to-workload balance, guarantee on-time delivery, and reduce overtime. You can drill down two levels from this chart. Click Region 121 to view the region progress and operator work rates. There are two drill-down charts associated with Workforce Planning Chart the Operator Actual Rate, and Region Progress Charts. The Operator Actual Rate is the same chart you saw in the Delivery Management Dashboard. This is a good chart to use to view the current work rates for all operators associated with the selected region. VoiceLink calculates rates based on the number of units processed per hour. Just like the Route Progress Chart, the Region Progress Chart displays the percentage of work completed for assignments in the selected region that have route departures within specific time intervals. If for some reason assignments in a region are not being completed at their required rate, then there could be some resource or network issue slowing down the progress of this region. The supervisor or the IT manager can then check and resolve those issues in person. Click Next 06 hours to view the assignment status for the selected region and interval. The Region Assignment Composition Chart shows added detail on region progress by breaking down the assignments by status within the selected time interval. For planning purposes, you may want to know what items are picked, what is remaining, and how much time is needed to pick the remaining items. The remaining work dashboard helps with exactly that for the selection workflow. If you are familiar with the charts that belong to the VoiceLink Selection Voice application, you can easily follow these charts. Because these are exactly those selection charts, which have now been retired from the Selection Voice application page and moved to the My Dashboards page. The remaining work dashboard has two charts estimated hours remaining, and items picked remaining. Estimated hours remaining chart shows the hours left to complete assignments in a selection region. The data is based on the total items remaining and the actual picking rate of all operators signed into that region. The value for total items remaining is calculated as the sum of all items and assignments that are available, passed, suspended, and short. Items from assignments that are complete, canceled, or unavailable are not included. Items Picked Remaining Chart shows the quantity of items picked for all assignments that were completed in a selection region since the shift start time. It also displays the quantity of items left to pick in the same region during the current shift. The value for total items remaining is calculated as the sum of all items and assignments that are available, passed, suspended, and short. Items from assignments that are complete, canceled, or unavailable are not included.
we learned quite a bit about dashboards. Let me quickly bring you up to speed on what we just learned about dashboards. Click the numbers to read through the summary of this module. VoiceLink 4.3 has a set of pre-built data aggregators. These data aggregators provide the data calculations, merging and filtering for the alerts and charts that are delivered with the product. VoiceLink 4.3 comes with three built-in dashboards, Delivery Management Dashboard, Workflow Management Dashboard, Remaining Work Dashboard. When you are creating a dashboard, the time filter allows you to limit all data on the dashboard to a specific time frame. If you choose No Filter, the data display with the default scope generated by the dataset. Welcome to the quiz. For each question, please select the best answer and click Next Question. You will be able to submit your answers only after you have answered all questions. You must score 80% or better to pass the quiz. Click Start to begin. Good luck. Congratulations. You have successfully completed the module.